Well, hello, hello. I find it fun you are here for today's episode, the last featured piece in the Untold Stories Carboard series, Famous Boundaries. I've enjoyed having you along for this weekly journey sharing the series in depth. If you are here beyond the fact, I'm thankful for you too. Not only for my sake, but for the sake of the Lord directing your steps. Either way, I'm encouraged for all of us. As He grows, guides, and directs us and heals places, our soul, so we can be a strong light for others. This life isn't about easy breezy, but it's about learning to navigate in His image. Our daily life is a testament to just that. Be encouraged. What you are doing in your daily life matters. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hands to. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you an oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the people on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. Deuteronomy 28, 8-10 Famous Boundaries is a 16 by 14. It's the third one, five-part abstract cardboard series titled Untold Stories. It consists of acrylic paint, markers, colored pencils, cardboard. We all have boundaries in our life. Among our stories, we have to protect. When we practice and master this, the boundaries become famous. Protect your boundaries and watch yourself bloom. You have space. I started the famous boundaries piece the morning after the previous one I completed. If any in this series are twins, it would be this one and the key tags. I painted both of these with only using cardboard pieces, meaning no paint brushes were involved. Cardboard on cardboard. Then I spent late afternoon before cooking dinner marking with colored pencils and a few touches of markers. This was the most peaceful time creating in this series. Boundaries come in the late of night when we are weeping and not strong in the moment, but we know strength is coming. It says no to questions asked, saying no to things when all we need is a friend in our life. Saying no because your grief is too strong. No because someone asks or depends too much on you. It's knowing your next steps aren't how the world sees them, or even family members. Rather, how the Lord is calling you. Not sharing with those who don't have your best interest at heart. When things feel forced or unaligned with growth. Not playing the game of being manipulated, letting go, not holding on to things as a personal reflection, knowing when to share and not share. It's about aligning ourselves with the Lord. The mental and spiritual mature people in your life will know the worth of your boundaries.
Sometimes things can get blurry when we forget to speak life over ourselves, allow his presence in our life to help navigate boundaries. Just know, among boundaries is a safe, quiet little spaces our soul need for rest. Boundaries can sound like we're building up walls or barriers, isolating ourselves, but honey, I'm here to tell you it's far from the truth. It's creating solitude spaces our souls need, need to gravitate deeper in our relationship with Christ where he restores us. Boundaries is in the resting places of standing in the rain, chasing a turtle to see where he goes, checking the crops, cooking a family meal, spotting things above and about, listening to the conversations around you, standing in silence, knowing when enough is enough, listening to the birds and wind, enjoying a quiet ride in the car, a bike ride, unloading groceries and beyond. If you find yourself weak with boundaries, it's okay. Sometimes it takes a life or a season to navigate. Keep taking steps towards boundaries and one day they will become famous, famous boundaries. You are awesome and loved always. Here's to a good day. Much love till next time. Oh, and remember, you were made to shine.